I never thought I would see the day when Cloud9, the heroes of the LCS, the saviors, became the very people they hate and the villains of the league. Over the last few months, Cloud9 has made it very apparent. Only one thing matters, and that is international results. And quite frankly, it cost them an LCS title thinking like that. Now you would think for at least four of these players who are not new to the international stage, they've been to Worlds last year. This roster is almost entirely the same. You would think they would remember a little bit of history when it comes to the league that they're in. Because there was once a team prior to them that said this exact same thing. TSM traded out several parts of their roster over many years in the hopes that they would ultimately win a series at Worlds. That domestic play didn't matter. Cloud9 forgot about that and are now in the exact same shoes, have made the exact same bed to lay in. But when you're five years removed from the international results that got you to that point, people stop giving you leeway. So now there's only one answer, win. Winning is the only thing that can prevent Cloud9 right now from falling down the same exact trap that TSM did where you give it all for international results, but then you don't deliver them. It was not long ago that Fudge was considered one of the best top laners in the world. At 2021 MSI, he was the shining star of a C9 roster that just couldn't put it together. Blabber, unfortunately, just has not had an international result to really show for it yet. The Blabber Crabber meme exists for a reason, and it's not a good one. Glad that C9 can turn around and joke on themselves, but that's not gonna help when it comes to the international stage. Zerker and Zven? I mean, last year they didn't do much, but Zven, I know, knows how to get to the semis. But he was also on that same TSM roster that was focused on international results rather than winning the LCS. And you saw how that turned out for him. Nothing else matters for C9 right now, for their fans, for management, or anybody other than winning. If you don't do it, History is doomed to repeat itself again. I know this is meant to be a hype piece, but it's more of a warning. Don't fall in to the same trap as the people you hated the most. Don't live long enough to become the villains when you're already on that track. Win and all problems are solved.